It's time for the VSR Void Space Racing Review for the Nintendo Switch. As I mentioned in my previous review of Arrow, I was browsing through the Nintendo eShop looking for some good deals. I came across this game and noticed it was on sale for only 49 cents. I thought, eh, I guess I'll try it. Even if it sucks, it's only 49 cents. Well, was it worth it? No. So let's find out why. This is going to be a short review because what you're seeing is all the game has to offer. You pilot a spaceship racing against AI ships around various galactic objects. The goal is to race through a preset mapping of rings. Two arrows, one red and one blue, will show you the current ring you're supposed to fly through and where the next one will be respectively. The thing is though, there's of course no gravity, so maneuvering your way through one ring to the next isn't as easy as turning left or right. Because there's no friction to stop you, once you pass through a ring, you'll keep heading in the same direction, but turning towards the next ring is challenging in a bad way. If you're moving at a high speed once you pass through a ring, your instinct is to turn towards the next ring, but doing so takes forever for your ship to actually face the correct position. So you can wait half an eternity by turning at high speed, or you can put on the brakes, face your ship in the correct position, and then hit the gas. This works fine for the overall goal, but it's boring. This is a race, I don't want to stop, and there's an easy solution to this that I wish the developers included. All they needed to do was add side thrusters to your ship. You could activate them when you need to turn sharply, which, by the way, is almost all the time. But instead, you play the stop and go nonsense. So once you get your timing down with the acceleration and brakes, the game becomes too easy and boring. The shoulder buttons allow you to tilt the camera, but this doesn't really help at all. In fact, it could be argued that it makes it more difficult to fly through the rings. If you miss too many rings, uh, I actually don't know what the penalty is. I missed more than the supposed limit right here, yet I received first place and a star next to the track in the selection to indicate I received first. So I don't know, it just makes it feel unfinished. Flying through rings is boring, to say the least. If you get too bored like I did and just say screw this and try to leave the racing area, the game won't allow it and will turn you around and position your ship so that it's facing dead center on the current ring you're supposed to fly through and it'll take the reins and fly through it for you. Ugh, who cares. They could have added more elements like upgradable ships or things you need to avoid like bumpers scattered throughout or aliens trying to shoot you or something. The only things you need to avoid are space stations and asteroids, which aren't really in the way as they are more a part of the track, I guess you could say. This is one of those games where graphics don't make a good game. There's a handful of stages and visually they all look really good, but do the graphics help with the core gameplay? No, no they don't. Another positive is the music. It definitely fits with the racing in outer space theme and it's EDM, which I like in the first place. Multiplayer is the same crap as single player, but both of you have to share the boredom. Need I say more? I don't think so. Very sucky racing, I mean void space racing isn't worth your time. While the graphics and music are good, the core gameplay is extremely lackluster and it just feels like the whole game is unfinished. The lack of side thrusters make it so that the mechanic of no gravity or friction doesn't work with a racer unless you have something in the game to work around it, like side thrusters. This stop and go crap is boring and unappealing. It feels like it could have a lot of potential, but for now, you can bypass this one. This game gets a 1 out of 5 with the title of Horrible. 